Xuara here. And if you look at the dam issue which have been um, created here, the water have harvested a lot. And if you look at the maize and the um, the land that the water have been, been disturbed, is we are very, very suffering a lot. And we need the help of the president and the public uh, 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 peoples to also proclaim or make it allowed for, for, for uh, peoples who, who are able to come and help us. If you look at the maize that uh, has been uh, um, uh, grown in between, uh, through the demarcation of what the, the surveyors have been made, has been even the water is more than even that. And we don't know where to even enter. So the president should also look on that because the peoples are crying a lot. And parents are in tears, and not only because of that. There are animals in the river boundary which they affect a lot, and we don't know what to do. Right now, there are goats which, even if they come closer to drink the water, set, many crocodiles are harvesting them, are catching them, and we don't know what to do again. So they should come and help us. We don't know what to do again. And if you look at the houses that they said they are going to um, forward it, uh, they are going to uh, rebuild houses for those people. So the houses are even beyond that one, and we don't know what to even do again. So we are pleading on government that they should come and emphasize on that one. If not, people are even crowding. And if you look at politicians, this one, it seems they make it according to politicians. Because politics, because of politics issues, they come and reduce everything. Because this is not the number of houses. We know a dump this way, supposed to uh, uh, even collectively uh, um, and bring something like a um, uh, number of communities, not the houses. When they came here, they said, no, this, this is a number of houses that are supposed to be, to, to be, to be sacked. Quick, it be beyond that way. So we think that if they should come, they should come and look at the communities that it affected, so that they were able to promote, um, remove uh, uh, those houses. Because if you look at the houses that remain, and they didn't able to capture them, they have been affected because it, it, the water has disturbed a lot of land. Quick, the land that remained that cannot even take care of them. Because most of them use those land that the water have even captured to, to, to farm and take care of their school children. Now, if you look at on the Gagwiri side, there are some boundary there which the students used to pass there to Garu to learn, but now they have stopped. They have stopped education. So we don't know what to do again. So government should look and also emphasize on that one so that uh, if you look at even most of the tickets are even at Garu and they are ticket at Gagwiri, they are ticket at Bogri, they are ticket at a lot of places. So right now, they are not been going again. So what did the, 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 the government do? If you look at the distance they're supposed to be passed through there to Bugri and Tik, it's a lot. And we don't know what to do again. So we are pleading on government to also look on that and also help us. If not, our irrigation system... Assembly member for Gabiri Natenga electoral area. And actually, they came to construct a dam here for us. And initially, we didn't know that the dam was going to give us a problem as such. Now, they have consulted the dam. We can't get road now to cross to Garu Market. More especially, some of my electoral area is cut off. Kugzuga 1 and 2 is cut from Gagwiri Natenga here. Gago is cut from Gagwiri Natenga here. So now my electoral area has divided into three. If I want to cross, I can't cross any of them. Now, they've also seized our farmlands for the water to be blocked, kept. We can't get farm here now to farm rice. Our maize, water has taken everything. Coming to our houses, we now sleep with crocodiles, patterns, and other very dangerous animals. So we are now appealing to the government to come to our aid. Our children too used to move from Gagwiri here to Garu to attend school. Now this road has been blocked. You can see it. We can't move. The children cannot move from here to Garu again. They have to go and pass through Tempani. And Motokin carrying them from here to Garu used to take two Ghana cities. Now from here passing through Gagwiri market, Targanga, Tempani to Garu, Motokin now charge them eight Ghana cities, which is very, very costly to us. We can't afford it. The children, the children education is now getting back. Now we don't have a facility here, health center. There are some animals now here in the water biting us. We have to look for a health care. We don't have facility. So how are we going to handle this case? 
That's why we want to appeal to the government to come to our aid and help us on these issues. So we are pleading. Even anyone who can help, because we follow the government from the one up to now, we've not been getting any help till this thing has gotten to this stage. So any, whoever can help, we are appealing to come to our aid. NGOs, we are calling. Because initially when it started, we started complaining that the team will not favor us. They were only looking at the good side of it, but they don't also look at the negative side. The good side is, oh, we are going to get irrigation in our community. Now, the things have now counted. The road, the health center, the education of the children, our own houses, living with the, these uh, dangerous animals. That's the dangerous part of it. They've never thought of this. Their aim was that they are giving us a dump. Now we had the dump. We are suffering in the dump. The whole community... Dominic Abogura Asana, former assemblyman. In fact, uh, the land has been surveyed by the water. There's nowhere people can farm again. There's nowhere people can farm again. Our animal, even yesterday, a crocodile took my old man and uh, three animals, sheep, when it was about to drink water, and then the crocodile saw the shadow and jumped onto it. It dragged it into this. When the, the shadow we came, we were not able to see, to, 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 to rescue the animal. And then secondly, the land where the, the women were using to farm, everything has been submerged. The women have nowhere to go. They can't even get anything to even buy their salt, even to pay their school fees. So it's, a, it's going to be a big problem. And then uh, actually, this is the animals where they used to graze. The land, the water has occupied the whole of that place. There's not any place for you to graze animals. The houses do the same thing. So we are pleading to the NGOs and the government, especially the government, because they should have demarc demarcated and put some pricks and tell the people that this is the area where the water will reach. They, did, they were not able to, to tell the people like that. They, they were taking it in a different way, the good side without bringing the disadvantage of the, the, the dam. So now that we are now hot, we are crying and then we are calling you, the media men, to come and help us so that the NGOs and the government will come and help the poor ladies and the school children who used to move from this place to Garo. Almost about 118 children. They struggle here up to Garo, uh, Catholic school, uh, DNC, JSS, and senior high. Now they can't go. Almost about a week today, the children are not able to go to school. So we are pleading to the government and all NGOs and any uh, person who can come and help the people so that they will uh, survive from this uh, uh, bad uh, construction of the dump. Thank you very much. Uh, for the Tempani district. In fact, uh, as we stand now, I don't know what to, to say. But I will appeal for the top authorities to actually come to the aid of the community. Uh, looking at the flooding of the dam, it, it has started not today. I approached those surveyors who came to survey the dam. That the survey they have made, they have actually surveyed the place. But the people concerned don't know the level of survey that they have carried. That was on the onset of the survey of the construction of the dam. Today you've seen that the water is almost getting people who were thinking that they are not affected. They are almost going to be affected. So I think I have called myself an admiral uh, district director, but I want to talk more on the community base. My house is affected. When the surveyors came the first time to survey the place, a lot of photographs were taken by my by surveyors that I am going to be inside water. But I was there to my surprise. I, uh, they came and told me that I was not going to be part. And I, I, I told them that if you say I'm not part, you are lying. Before the construction of the dam, I will talk to you on the normal flooding of the uh, river Tamdi. Whenever there's uh, flooding, my house is always affected. Animals were being carried, fowls were being carried before the construction of the dam. And you came today and said you have surveyed the place, I will not be part. They said I won't be part. I invited them on two occasions. We met at the DC's office, they said I will not be part. Today, come and see where my house is. So today, just to be brief, 
I went to Tank TV3 and uh, the assemblyman concerned for this bill, all the opinion leaders, the, all officers of TV3 to make sure that they carry the message back to the contractor involved to actually come back and look at the dump very well or else before you hear people will be carried away. Yesterday I happened to visit the speedway. When I when they concluded their discussion with me, they told me that the way I'm looking at the, the dam is not going to be so. After the construction of the dam, when the dam is full, there's something they call speedway. And when the water is full, the speedway will make sure the excess water will be carried away so that it will not be affected. Now, the water has already come to our dorm house. When you go and see the water that is already contained in the uh, reservoir, the distance of water currently in the dam is far from this, the speedway that they are talking of. And I know very well that if the water gets to the speedway, that they are saying that the water will be carried away so that the people will not be affected, then...